Hi, my name is Ella Zimmerly, and this is my sidekick, Duke. I'm an independent researcher who studies society mostly by assimilating ideas from other researchers, journalists, and citizens. This is assimilation of ideas, and my, I, I bring together my, with my experiences to tell the narrative of our globalized world, our collective narrative. Humanity's story is important because it informs us about our past, it helps us become aware of our present, and it helps us understand our choices as we decide and form our future. The saga tells of conquest, control, and struggles. Conquest by religion, empire, economics, and military. Control using information, resources, and money. The struggle for freedom, wholeness, and peace. If we consider oneness with God, or higher consciousness or enlightenment, however you choose to think about it or talk about it, uh, if we consider this to be the ultimate highest aim of both individual and group existence, then forces that work against the unity of spirit with the creative mind take focus away from our purpose. You might even say these forces are at war with our best interests. Slavery, class struggles, and war are rife in our history, regardless of the region in which you live. People of recent history, per the written record, have always sought power and control of others in situations. They have obtained and kept power through many means, not limited to the manipulation of literacy, education, money as reward, indebtedness, fees, taxes, propaganda, intimidation, violence, even exploiting our differences as we have let them divide us into smaller groups. Today, our social structure still uses similar means to control the general population. The globalized structure also uses mass media, or <laughs> the internet, mass surveillance, terms, transnational corporations, and terms like democracy and terrorism. The United States of America is often the first entity blamed for our collective state of affairs with, their pollution, with the pollution, carbon output, military intimidation, intimidation etc. But its people are being controlled, like most, like most everyone else. So the good news in our story is that some people have found internal freedom and peace despite their circumstances. You do not have to respond in the same way that you and others have in the past. Instead, you can choose to be peacefully proactive rather than emotionally reactive. The good news continued is that we each have a choice about whether or not we want to seek oneness with the greater and to allow the greater purpose to be manifest in each of us. The good news is that when we each work for the toward the fulfillment of the personal higher goal, when we look beyond the goals from our social structure of control, we can team win and we will team win this massive game simulation that is our reality. The good news is that we can and will, by might of will, envision and actualize a peaceful and just future for humanity and for our planet. In closing, I encourage you to consider the perspectives of many that I bring together here. I encourage you to seek understanding of all the opportunities that present themselves, and I encourage you to find your nonviolent place in our struggle for a free and just world, a world in which people are free to connect to God and free to treat other people as we would like to be treated. Namaste.